Welcome Aquarius to your weekly reading. I hope you're all doing well. It's time to get cozy and relax, to calm the mind and to check in with your intuition as we take a look at the cards that Spirit want to bring through for the week ahead. Aquarius, let's take a look at this card for you. We have the Nine of Raphael. Make a wish, dreams become reality, a joyful time of life. A very positive card. This is the wish card of the tarot. So there's an energy here of a, a lamp, magic lamp and a genie, the image. So there is a manifestation that you are going to be able to see in your reality. A wish come true, you could say, this week or sometime very soon in the weeks to come from when you view this reading. Spirit has not left you, the universe, God, source, energy, they have not left you. I'm seeing they're coming through as this dog energy of loyalty and faithfulness to what it is you're wanting to manifest and they're helping in this process. You may have not put an intention or a manifestation out there yet. But this week, there's a powerful energy around you and manifestation, making a wish, putting it out there and it in fact coming back and it coming true. So this is a beautiful energy, very high vibrational spiritual energy to come up for you to begin your reading Aquarius. So I love that. Let's take a look at this deck of cards. Guidance for Aquarius, please spirit. Okay, this card here. Courage and strength. A leap of faith. Archangel Michael hands you an energetic key. This sacred key blesses you with a gift of courage. You're going to be taking a leap of faith. This will bring freedom. This will bring expansion and joy into your life. Do not doubt that. This time of transition is going to need courage and strength. And you can draw on that courage and strength. Not only from self, but from spirit. There is a key that's being handed to you this week. The key to open the door to a new opportunity. This sacred key blesses you. There is a blessing over your life this week. So take that leap of faith. You are protected. Beautiful. Mm, I feel this card here is important for you. So let's take a look at the message. Criticizing one another will only lead to further unhappiness. Love and accept each other as you are and your relationship will magically transform. This is a romance card. And so if you are in a partnership, a focus on the energy exchange between you both is important. I love that Spirit's bringing up that there's an opportunity for you to transform or both of you to transform the relationship magically. Love and acceptance is the key to this transformation. Guidance, please, Spirit for Aquarius. Guidance for Aquarius, this card here is your card. Study, reading, research and education help you gain confidence and clarity about your career. You may be involved with study or education. You may be a teacher. You may be a student. You may be researching something for work. 
You are going to gain confidence in this. And for some, it is going to bring about clarity to do with your career or life purpose. You may be looking to go into a different area of work, for example, and you're needing to study to achieve that. The owl energy here is wisdom. And so you are gaining knowledge through the information that you absorb um, this week more readily and the information will be more accessible to you for remembering and for processing and for wisdom ultimately. Guidance please spirit for Aquarius. Guidance please spirit for Aquarius. We have the Empress energy. This is expansion and growth and love and caring and cherishing what is important to you. You have a treasure to share with the world. That's a message I'm receiving for someone. You have a treasure to share with the world that you haven't yet looked into. I'm seeing that study education or research further knowledge is the aim of the game this is what you'll be focused on so then you can share with the world this gift this treasure beautiful this is the mother archetype you may be a mother yourself caring for children grandchildren or you may be nurturing yourself and others and bringing them up in life, bring their vibration up in life um, and supporting them. This is a strong supportive energy. You may have a mother figure that's passed over that's very present around you and you will feel her. You will feel her energy close by. The Wheel of Fortune energy, luck is on your side. Good things are going to come through this week. And I'm not surprised this energy has shown up for you because we do have this powerful energy of manifestation, making a wish, dreams becoming reality. Good fortune in this regard is uh, coming through as a confirmation with this card. I'm also seeing it linked here linked in here with relationships as well as this study research gaining wisdom and knowledge you may also connecting it up to this card here you may in fact be feeling like it's going to be or perhaps it will be a big life change and you'll be taking a leap of faith to move into this knowledge study or education we have the two of swords. Your mind is saying one thing, but your heart may be saying another thing. Whatever is going to bring the most growth, development, harmony, caring and nurturing is the avenue that you need to go down. The two of swords can mean that there is a block to communication, writer's block, creative block, this type of thing. If that's been something that's been bothering you, there is an unlocking with this key that I see here that's going to take place this week. So you can really channel that energy and that energy will start to flow once again. We have the four of wands and this is a perfect energy for harmonious friendships, relationships and family situations. You may be visiting family perhaps or you'll start to find that any discord or tension in a relationship starts to settle down. It may be linked into this energy of love and acceptance. This means that there's a celebration and good times ahead this week. 
You may have a gathering. There may be an announcement or news of an engagement, a wedding or some other formal situation, maybe with a friend. A celebrating of some kind is often indicated when this card comes up. The Seven of Pentacles. The Seven of Pentacles means that you're being patient on someone or about something in your life. It means that you're comfortable where you are and you're comfortable with the seeds that have been planted. The things that you have said in the past, you have done in the past, you know they're going to come into manifestation at some point. And with the pentacles, it can mean that it's taking a bit longer than you wish, but it is going to come through. This is a confirmation from Spirit saying it is going to come true, come through and come true. This card can indicate that you're at a crossroads. It can mean that there is a dividing path up ahead. And this week or sometime soon from when you view this reading, that will become clear about which path to take. So I hope you've enjoyed this reading, Aquarius. It's been wonderful to read for you today. And I hope you have a wonderful week and I'll talk to you all again soon.